MLB The Show's coverage of Major League and Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. Into the box now, Kevin Newman, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. A 1 1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And that'll bring in Adam no, Frazier. His Adam. matchup numbers with Hendricks, he's hitting 437. He also has one home run. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Up next for the Buckos, Brian Reynolds. He'll swing it from the left side right here. More of a comfortable side from the left side. Puts the ball in play. More of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Here's Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Drives it out to deep right center field. Reynolds is on the move for it. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1 home. Bases are empty, one man out. And he got him. The next hub up, Chris Bryant. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Ball and a strike now to Bryant. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. That gets down, and the inning will continue. Batting four. The pitcher, Wilson. To the plate now, Wilson Contreras. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Set to get his day started, Josh Bell. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Three and one. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Colin Moran. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Line drive to center field. Half is right there, one down. Here's Gregory Polanco. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Polanco. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Hit out towards second, and that'll get by into center field for a base hit. In now, Kevin Kramer. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And that's just shy of the baskets and off the ivy. And this throw gets away from him. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet. But the bases are loaded with one away. Batting it. The catcher. Jacob. Ball. 
Standing in now, Jacob Stallings. Easy take there as the off-speed pitch misses well inside. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. Base hit, and the run will score as the Pirates are on the board first. It's one to nothing. Batting up. At the plate, Jamison Tyon. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. One run is scored. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a 3 nothing game. The bat, number 27. At the plate now, Kevin Newman. Sinker misses that time, and it's 2-1. and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. Base is full now following the error. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Adam Frazier. And a strike three called. My gracious, what a pitch with the bases loaded. And there are two away now. Brian Stallings at third, Tyon on second, Newman at first, two out in the inning. Now a ball lined towards center field. That's in there, base hit, one run scores. And the runner from second is in to score. Now a 5 nothing lead. Trevor McGill enters from the pen in just the second inning, so they'll hope to get some length out of him and have him stay out there for a while. Stepping in now, Josh Bell. And look out. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Line drive, base hit to right. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Now that is third base, Colin Moran. Into the box, Colin Moran hit to first. Rizzo is there. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So in now for Chicago, Anthony Rizzo. And they are squarely into chip-away mode, looking at a 6-0 deficit already in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for... Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. To the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Standing in now, Ian Happ. A ball and two strikes now. First and second here with nobody out. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And this one's in the dirt. Yeah, and a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. Has a look. Now the pitch. Thank you. Waiting his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. 3-2 pitch. Inside as he nearly got him, and it's ball four. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. And it seems they've got to make something of this opportunity here if they've got any hopes of climbing back into this one. The 1-1. Ground ball foul down the left side. Let's go, Jason. Come on, Jason. Come on. Look 
looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But the recovery is too late at first, and the run is in to score. Into the box now, Trevor McGill. Grounded up the first baseline. And this scoots under his glove. Oh, what a time for that. One run is scored. And the second run will score as well. The batter number nine. Good job, Javier. At the plate, Javier Baez. Cubs shortstop with a three and one count. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. High and deep down the left field line. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Here's Jason Hayward now. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hayward. Softly hit out to short. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Digging in for his second at bat, Gregory Polanco. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. The 1-1 home. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Jacob Stallings now will be the next hitter. Kirk. Looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Comes set, now the pitch. to first to second for one on to Rizzo and it's a double play side retired stepping in and ready for another shot Chris Bryant he reached on a single in his first try hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So now to the plate, Wilson Contreras. Two and one. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. No outs, nobody on. Fouled off. Scorched to third. Ah, oh, way to get dirty to first. It's in time. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. Anthony. Now the 2 1 pitch. Line to the right side. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now with the plate, Kyle Schwerber. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that misses 2 and 1. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. 
He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Jamison Tyon, coming off the clutch two-run single his last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully, this A.B. Now the 2-1 pitch. Here's Kipnis now, the second baseman. Scooped up, throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Mine to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Now back, left fielder, Adam Freeze. Into the box, Adam Frazier hits it high and deep out to center field. A ball that's carrying. He makes the running play. Two down. So digging in now, Brian Reynolds. He drove home two with a single in his last plate appearance. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Two and one to count. speed pitch misses here and he runs it to three and one not a good spot to be in right now pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position hard ground ball to third Bryant is up with it throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired and that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ Hitting 500 in the series so far. Four for eight. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The count now at two and two. And he struck him out. One away now, and here's the second baseman, Jason Kipnis. Oh, the 1-1 one, one home. They swung on and missed for strike number two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Trevor McGill. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Go on to Bell at first, and the side is retired. Josh Bell the next to hit. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. That's popped up. And that'll get down for a base hit. With that, the Buckos have their leadoff man aboard to kick off the inning. Now that third baseman, Colin Moran. At the plate now, Colin Moran. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Now batting. Right here. Digging in once again, Gregory Polanco. Polanco. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? The 2-2. Two -two. Okay. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Swing and a liner. 
A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Now batter, number 44. Stepping in now, Kevin Kramer. That's lined into right center for a base hit and maybe more as it'll scoot all the way out toward the Ivy. One run scores. Now back, Kevin Jacob Stallings. Into the box now, Jacob Stallings. And this one misses for ball four. And now that'll load him up here with nobody out. Ready for another shot now, Jamison Tyon. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. 1-1. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. The 1-2. Hit on the ground to third. Bryant's got it. The tag gets one. And it's in time to get him. But they do play to run on the play. Alec Mills is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Kevin Newman will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. This ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now, three and one. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're gonna go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Now he sends a routine fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And there's one away. Now Standing in, Jason Hayward. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 3-1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. He pulls this one into right. Polanco is there. Two down. Digging in. Chris Bryant is coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Ridley while he was still in AAA. And what is he doing? He shows up. Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. The catcher, number 40, in now, Wilson Contreras. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway. So here's Adam Frazier. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Two nope, and two to Adam Frazier. <laughs> and he pops it up. But this will land untouched. Another 2-2 two -two offering. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. The center fielder, number Into 10. the box, Brian Reynolds. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. And a 
lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Count remains two and two. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. On the move is Hayward. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Two out, nobody on. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Thought this middle of the order might give him a fight and put up a little bit of resistance, but that hasn't been the case. He's carving right through them here. Baez is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So striding forward now, Anthony Rizzo. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. What a great battle to start this inning. What a great job by the leadoff hitter. He knows that this pitcher's starting to get up there in pitches. The manager's starting to get restless. Let's see if we can knock him out and get into that bullpen. to the plate now Kyle Schwarber and now a fastball but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now we're starting to see a lot more balls from him now and that's a direct result of him getting hit around pretty good he's trying to do something different and it's resulting in him not tacking the strike zone anymore Ian Happ waits on deck he loses him on ball four. Robbie Ehrman comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. Ian Happ will be his first test out of the bullpen, and it will be a tough test indeed as he'll face him with two on and nobody out here. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And he fouls this one off. Four runs, eight hits. One error for the Cubs to this point. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Now in the box, Jason Kipnis. He's one for two in this one. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and he pops him up. And I believe, yes, the umpire signaling for the infield fly rule. Nico Horner will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Big hitting for the Cubs. Number two, Nico Horner. Four runs, eight hits, one error for the Cubs to this point. Skied into very shallow right. Polanco has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. You're Rowan Wick please. is on to pitch from now the bullpen now, the now to start inning number seven. Number 50. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in, Colin Moran. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. One away here for the Bucks in their half of the seventh. And the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Three two pitch high and deep to center field a ball that's carrying on the warning track he makes the catch now batting Kevin Kramer the 
one one home on the ground to the right side. The flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. For the traditional So the batting order turns over now and set to go Javier Baez. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Struck him out. The batter, the right fielder, Jay Hayward. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Swung on and driven to right, and no doubt about it. Polanco looking up, and it's gone. This is the matchup you'd like as a pitcher, right? Lefty on left, but sometimes you don't win all of the battles. Gave this guy a pitch to hit, and he made him pay for it. So now to the plate, Chris Bryant. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Wilson Contreras. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he is out on the tag. At the plate, Jacob Stallings fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one into the bleachers and gone. Ryan Tapera will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 52. Jose Osuna will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Jose Osuna. Hard hit ball to second. Kipnis has it. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batter. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Kevin Newman. One run in and one gone so far this inning. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So striding in, Adam Frazier. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Popped him up. Contreras has a play. And that retires the side. Richard Rodriguez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 48. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He's two for three and looking for more here. Now the 2 1 pitch. going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Stepping up now, now Kyle Schwarber. A hit in two tries Kyle. for him so far. Now the 2 1 pitch. Not surprisingly here this is on the ground to the right side and he'll whip this one over to first and he gets his man for the second out. Striding in, Ian Happ. No hits for him yet in the game, despite his team's offensive onslaught. A 1-1 home. A strike two, swinging. Scott.
skied in the air to straightaway left. Frazier will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Set to start the ninth in this one at the plate. Ryan Reynolds. He flew out in his last at bat. Here it comes. The count is three and one. Josh Bell will be next. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Hit to short. Baez has it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Bell. So far, two for three in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Yep, that ball went out. Swing and a miss, two and two now. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. His pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. Hit hard to third. And there's out number two. Now Digging in now, Colin Moran. He was retired Colin. via the ground ball Moran. last time up. One and two now as that one's fouled off. strike three so we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired Kyle Frick will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far striding in to start the ninth Jason Kipnis and they'll need him to get something going here the 1-1 one, one. And it's fouled away. The 2 2. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Reynolds is on the move for it. At the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Victor Caratini will grab a bat and hit Number for the pitcher seven. here. Victor Caratini. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. On the move is Polanco. He's not going to have a play, and the pinch hitter comes through. And he'll pull into second with one away. The batter number nine. Good job. Javier. Javier. Standing in now, Javier Baez. Ground ball foul down the left side. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Now with the plate, Jason Hayward. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. Throw to first will be in time for the final out, and the Pirates will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. This one ends with a 10-5 score. The Pittsburgh Pirates took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jamison Tyon earns his first win of the season. Kyle Hendricks permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Pirates, 10 runs on 11 hits. No error, they left five men on base. For the Cubs, five runs on 11 hits. One error, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and three minutes. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon, 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.